channel. For those of you who don't know me or who've never been here before, welcome. My name's Rachel. I'm the owner of The Eclectic Cottage here in Spokane, Washington. Uh, it's Thursday and I do have a thrift haul for you. I hope your week is going well. Uh, my husband and I went out on Sunday. We had to come into town to do some grocery shopping and ended up somehow magically at a couple of thrift stores. So um, as you can see by the table, uh, we did manage to find some cool stuff. So I'm gonna be showing you that. Uh, and if you wanna see more of what I've got going on here in my studio, AKA my kitchen at the cottage, please subscribe to my channel and then hit the little notification bell and that will let you know when I upload new content. Currently, I'm trying to stick to Tuesdays and Thursdays. That could change with time. Um, but for now, that's kind of what I'm trying to stick to. So anyway, um, and at the end of the video, I'd love to hear what your favorite item is. So comment below and let me know. And then if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Anyway, I'm going to get started with the pile to my left. So we went to our three favorite Goodwills here in town. Yes, three. And I uh, got the stuff to my left and then we hit up the little... Um, estate sale place where they do their Sunday clearance where everything's a dollar and that's where this stuff all came from so I'll show you the Goodwill stuff first and then I will show you and some of the things are huge and I'm gonna have to probably just show you at the end um, we got some pots at the dollar sale and they are really big and really heavy so I'm not gonna try and uh, maneuver any of them in here onto the table so I'll just flip the camera around at the end and show you um, but anyway I will get started like I said over here um, so I found this kind of just a plain bowl it's supposed to be you can see on the back it was made to have um, candles in and uh, I like the fact that it's black so it's really nice starting color to put some DIY paint over this um, but then I found this and I thought, wouldn't this be cool if we married these two pieces together and made it a pedestal bowl? So that's what I'm going to do. And this will probably be in a future thrift flip. But you can see, I mean, this is just a little wood, it's supposed to be a pillar holder, but I really think it'll be great with this. So I'll paint them to match. And then that is what this will be. Make a great plant stand too. So anyway, so I got that. Very noisy. And then these two, oops, stay. These two I've actually picked up a couple times when I've been at the Goodwill. They've been there for probably a month now, um, but the price was a little bit high and uh, they were half price this go around. So I grabbed them. Um, they're not real mercury glass or just regular glass with that kind of film on them. So I'll just carefully wash them and put them in my display. But I have some other mercury glass that I've got. Um, I'm gonna put some like colored Easter eggs in them and some little, probably some Spanish moss just to kind of dress them up um, and have them out for spring. So they'll be really pretty with that. And my arms are really sore because we've been back at the gym and man, <laughs> my poor muscles. Anyway, uh, last go round, I found the match to this. Uh, this is a really pretty crystal goblet. Um, the other one that I found did have a little chip. This one does not. I looked when we were there and I did not see this, uh, this mate of it. Um, so they must've put it out like after we left. Um, and of course last week yellow tags were on half price. So this week I got to pay full price for it, but now at least I have two matching goblets to go together. And then we did get quite a few plant pots this go around, so I was happy for that. I found this little white one. Um, it's just cute, plain, uh, neutral, which I really like. And the price was good. I, this one was half price, so I think it was 99 cents. Um, my husband found these two, and I think they're just really cool. I absolutely get this one out. I love the color. Um, I think copper is just great, especially in the garden, because um, just kind of brings that little shine and sheen into your into your plant pots and stuff. And so I grabbed these two. I'm gonna drill holes in the bottom of them for sure and then clean them. Obviously, they're a little dirty. And then this guy, uh, I looked at and I I didn't look close enough because I thought I assumed 
since there was a tray, there had to be a hole and there's not. So there's no hole in this plant pot, um, which means that at some point I am going to be getting my drill bits and I am going to have to try and drill a hole in this. So hopefully I can do it without breaking it. We'll see. So, cause this was out of everything. I think this was probably my most expensive item was this pot. So hopefully I don't break it. And hopefully I don't break anything else I'm putting it down here. Okay. <laughs> so, um, frames, I got a couple of, and the reason why, uh, is I follow this gal, um, on YouTube. Her name's Heather. She owns create your own cozy. She has a great little channel, um, and some really cool ideas. She did some frames where she painted and she put white wax over them. Her frames were way cuter than anything I found this weekend, but I did find a few and these were really inexpensive. These big ones were $1.50 each because they were half price. And then this one was, I think, a dollar. Um, so I'm going to paint these. I'm going to put something cool in them. The back is of these are really flimsy. I don't know what exactly these were made to do. Um, but I'll think of something to put in them and then it's for spring. It'll be a really cute little spring display thing. So probably in a future clip video. So watch out for that. Oh, itchy nose. These two I found, these were the only items I found at the One Goodwill and it's it was on our way out of town as we were headed home. And um, so I grabbed these. They weren't in with the decor. They were in the bookcase off to the side. So I don't think anybody else saw them because they were half price. Um, and they're just really cute, plain glass, um, lifted candle holders. I think these again would be really pretty with like some Spanish moss, maybe some Easter eggs, some, some of that cool ball decor that you can get. Um, something colorful to kind of bring a little bit of color into a display. Um, I've also used stuff like this for, um, little terrariums because you can put dirt in here and put like little um, succulents in there and they make really cute little planters so um, I'll think of something with these guys but for half price I had to have them this one this is a vase it's so tall and <laughs> I saw this sitting on the shelf and I picked it up and I was like mm, it's just glass nothing really special but it's kind of cool and I left it and then I was walking down a different aisle and my husband comes down the aisle with this and he's like did you see this this is really neat so I at that point I was like well if both of us kind of liked it it's a sign so I went ahead and grabbed it um the price was pretty decent yeah it was $4.99 um so I can definitely make my money on it but I'm not sure what I'm going to display in it at this point because it is so tall, so we'll see. I might just leave it out in the display the way it is. Then this thing, um, I absolutely loved the color of this. I thought it was just so pretty for spring. The only thing is, as I looked at it when I got it home, I'm sure it was meant to have a lid, which I did not see. But I only paid $3 for it. I'm sure I can get my money out of it. It's a cute little candle holder and the color is just fantastic. So I'm gonna put it out in my display and see what happens. This one I was really excited for because I was actually on the hunt for some galvanized metal. Um, the display I'm working on is a lot of neutral, but I love mixing in some metals with that. So uh, this pail is perfect because it's not too tall. Um, a lot of the florals that I buy, the faux florals on Amazon, are relatively short. And so it's nice to have a shorter bin to put them in. So uh, this will be perfect for that. And then this thing, I just thought it was kind of cool. It's got a couple little chips in it, but nothing too major. Um, really pretty in the window. I think this is going to be just neat with the sun shining behind it um, to just kind of really light up a space and so I grabbed this. My husband and I both saw this and I was kind of like ah and he was like oh but it's cool so that's why it's here with me. Um, I, anytime we both like something I figure it's a sign. So I grabbed that. This shade I don't even really have a lamp that I need this for, but I really like the shape of it. 
and um, the, the kind of skeleton of it is really cool. So even if I were to take all the fabric off of it and just use the skeleton, um, it'd be cool. And, but I really do like the fabric and it's in pretty good shape. So we'll see. Um, I've been known to paint these, so it really depends on the lamp that I find to go with it, but I just really liked it. And it was only a couple dollars, so I grabbed it. And then this coming week, I'm calling it Signs, Signs, Everywhere a Sign. And um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for Tuesday's video are some um, signs for spring. And this I really liked. It, it's just, it's nice and routered, so it's got some detail to it. So if I spray paint this black and I paint over it with white and then distress, you'll be able to see all this lovely detail that's been routered around this board. So I will probably take it out and sand it, spray it, and then paint it, and then I'll put my own sign on here. Um, and it was half price, so that's mainly the reason I got it. So I grab that. And then my last Goodwill item, if I can do this without breaking anything, was this cute little table. So it's just a little wood two-tier table, um, solid, heavy little piece. And it was only $8. I'm not sure at this point what I'm going to do with it, but I am sure I'll think of something. So I grabbed that. So that was all of my Goodwill stuff. Um, and then the last, well, second to last stop was um, the dollar sale. So I will show you some of the cute things. Now, I love little tchotchke um, things to go in the front of a display. My problem is most of the time I shop at like thrift stores and they want a lot of money for stuff like this, you know, $3 or $4 for a little bitty glass dish. And um, I can't make any money at that point. So it's great when I can find them for a dollar and then I can actually sell them for three or four dollars and make a little money and people get a cute little something for not very much money. So I was really excited to find some things. Um, I got this one, this little hobnail glass. Um, it's just really pretty. I absolutely love this little rim that it has, kind of an opalescent pretty look. So grab that. I grabbed this, which is probably supposed to be like a little ice cream dish or something. I just thought it was cute. It'd be cute next to your bed for like your ring or your, you've got a pair of earrings in to throw in there. Um, anyway, just thought it was a cute little trinket dish. This one, it looks like milk glass. It's heavy, so I'm not sure if it has any value at all, but um, it's marked at $12 when they originally had it priced. Um, but I thought it was pretty. And again, just a nice little... Um, trinket dish and then this one same thing it looks like milk glass it's not as white as that but it's pretty and it'll go really pretty in my display so I grabbed that and then this little thing I thought was cute I don't know if it's, it's supposed to be like a little creamer but what a perfect little pitcher <laughs> I just think it's adorable I love the color it's so cute and neutral and for a dollar I just can pass it up and then these guys, these are Lennox. Um, the unfortunate thing I didn't notice till I got home, this one does have a little hole in it. Um, this one's in perfect shape though, and they are Lennox porcelain. Um, and for a dollar each, they're just little candle holders. I'll probably put this one out for like $2 and see if, if somebody wants to buy the pair of them. Um, so we'll see. Uh, worst case, I will chuck this one and sell this one. So. Hopefully somebody can put this somewhere where the it's facing the back and you won't ever even know that it's broken. <clears throat> this is really heavy. I'm sure it's just a little utensil crock. It's from Pier 1. Um, for a dollar, I couldn't leave it, even though these colors really aren't anything that I have in my cottage right now. I do have a blue and white um, display over at our booth in Midtown. My friend and I... Um, kind of took all of our blue and white stuff and put it together over there. So I'm thinking I might make a trip over next Thursday to throw this in with that stuff. So, um, but it's pretty and it's heavy and I just, I thought it was really cool and definitely worth a dollar. And then this plant pot I got, just nice, neutral, easy plant pot for a buck. Um, I'm going to have to drill a hole in it at some point, um, but just really nice little pot. So I grabbed that. 
and then these two frames um whatever gold paint they put on these is coming off that's what all this is here i was kind of chipping at it so i'm gonna have to probably sand these um but they're they're botanical prints which i love but they're shoes and so i'm probably going to dispose of the prints themselves um and do something with the frames so um, but I thought how pretty to have that, to maybe paint these a light color, like a cream or a white and distress it back to this pretty gold and just have that kind of gleaming through the paint, I think would be a really pretty look. So that's probably what I'm going to do with those. So I'm excited for that. And then this whole Noritake dish set. So I'm not going to pull everything out, but, um, it's all Noritake China. It is the... Burlington I guess collection I got four plates four salad plates the bowl and then four or four salad bowls um these little plates and then four of these teacups and I paid 10 11 12 13 14 15 dollars for the whole set of it um and I just love the colors they're kind of that really pretty blue and green just really beautiful um so I will probably take this as well over to Midtown because we have, my friend has a dining table that's there and somebody bought the dishware that was on it. So it's kind of naked at the moment and this would be perfect for that. So I'm probably going to run that over with everything else. Um, let go. So I got this bird cage that has got these flowers in it that look like they've been in somebody's laundry room. They're all covered with fuzz. Um, so so I'm probably just going to chuck the flowers, um, but the cage itself is really cute and even just with a plant in here, um, I think would be just beautiful. So it's made to hang, um, just a really cute little wood bird cage. So I grabbed that for a dollar. Then it's almost done. Um, let me move this. Oh. Anyway, so this basket was a dollar, um, perfect for, I think two plant pots would fit great in here, um, to put out on your porch for the summer, just a really cute little piece. So I grabbed that and then the last thing over here, I can get it out, was this candle chandelier and I might hang this in the shop. Um, we'll see got some things that are bent out of shape a little bit it needs a, a little bit of a realignment um and I might actually paint it a different color I'm not really enthused with this kind of greenish brown color that they've got on it um but it's in really good shape it's really nice and heavy and I know these are kind of expensive if you go to the store and buy them so I got this one for a buck so I can put a little bit of work into it and um hopefully sell it to somebody who needs it for their garden, has a little pergola or something like that. Anyway, that's everything that I can actually lift. <laughs> so I am going to flip the camera around and I will show you the pots that we got. I couldn't believe that they hadn't already been bought. We got there about a half an hour after they had opened. And um, by that time, a lot of the stuff had already been kind of picked through. They have a table where all the stuff that's sold can be put and it was full of all sorts of cool stuff and I was like oh I missed all of that so I was really shocked that these big pots were still there they're all terracotta they're super heavy I got three that are the same and then one that's a little different um, but they're great and then the other thing I got I'm gonna hang it up just forgive the mess behind it is a hammock and I'm not sure that I'm gonna sell the hammock I might be greedy and keep it for myself um, it's coming unraveled in a couple spots, but honestly, if you put a blanket in there, um, I think it'd probably last me a couple seasons. So I'm probably going to take it home because I have the perfect spot to hang a hammock. I used to have one outside and after several seasons, it kind of melted and broke. So it's gone. It has been for years. I've always kind of wanted to replace it, but they're so expensive. Um, so this might be a perfect, uh, thing for me to take home so but I'll show it to you anyway um and so and then that'll be it from here so I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you back here on Tuesday I'm sure like I said 
my plan is to do a bunch of signs for um, Tuesday's video for gardening. You know, like I, I think on that one, I want to put cottage and um, I love the saying where flowers bloom, so does hope. So I'm probably going to make one that says that. Um, I've got some other little ideas, but anyway, so that's kind of my plan for Tuesday's video is to do, um, I might take apart the magazine rack and show you how I make signs out of the ends of it. Um, so we'll see. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, just something different. So, um, I hope you'll tune in for that on Tuesday. Uh, and until then have a great rest of your week and I will see you later. So here is the hammock. <laughs> It's pretty big. I've got it stretched clear across my kitchen. Um, it's in decent shape. It just has a couple spots where it's kind of come and unraveled just a little bit. But like I said, I have two trees at home that are spaced almost perfectly to have a hammock hanging between them uh, back in the back of one of my flower beds. So I am probably going to take this baby home and use it. I'm really excited to actually finally have a hammock again. And then these are those pots I was telling you about. And these guys are huge and heavy. So I got three that match. And then the front one there is just kind of the odd man out. But for a dollar each, I couldn't believe it. So I was really glad to have them. So anyway, that's it from here for today. I will see you back here on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Bye.